Excellent question. How do you explain the tides? Well, the tides are due to several different factors on the Earth. The first factor that we all learn about in elementary school is the pull of the moon on the oceans. That is one cause of the tides, but there are other causes to the tides beyond that as well. So the sun has a significant impact on the tides as well. So the gravitational pull of the sun also impacts the tides as well as the gravitational pull of the moon. And the combination of the two can cause differences in those, in those tides. So, for example, if the sun and the moon are on the same side, it's going to cause more bulging of the water on that side than if the sun and the moon are on opposite sides. Or if the moon is 90 degrees compared to the position of the sun, it can cause uh, an entirely different situation to the tides. In addition to gravitational forces impacting the tides, you also have the spin of the Earth. So you have kinetic energy that goes into uh, controlling the tides as well. And you don't learn about this in elementary school, but at the uh, college level, which I've done college level geology classes before because I have a degree in, actually a master's degree in geology, uh, you'll learn that the tides or the sea level is different depending on where you measure it at, and that's due to two things. You have the rotation of the earth causing the water to slosh towards one direction over uh, against another direction. Plus you also have winds, so winds can cause the water to bulge up where the winds are, are dragging the ocean along with it. And you can get differences in the level of tide on different sides and different geographic locations based upon those phenomenon.